Mass elements are typically used to create lightweight design ideas for large building projects. With Revit, you can evaluate your idea and associate real-world building elements with these massing elements. You can create mass elements in a number of ways. You can modify them and add building elements such as walls, floors, and roofs. Mass elements do not display by default in a project. When you look at them, they are somewhat transparent and nor are there any building mass elements in the project default templates either. So what we're going to do is kind of look at how to set it up so you can look at these things. If you notice here on this drawing, we have here a topo surface that's in place, and we also have an import symbol, which kind of represents property lines and some rough building shapes. What we're going to do first is we're going to come up to View, under View Windows, we're going to do Tile Windows. Now, this setup works well with massing elements because you can use the floor plan to basically bring them in and place. And then using the 3D viewer, you can go ahead and see exactly how the shapes are starting to be put together to give you a visual idea as far as what your idea is going to look like. So to get started, what we're going to do is come up to the Massing Insight tab. You click on that, and the first thing we need to do is turn Show Mass Mode on. So we're going to come over here to this icon and click on it. By doing that, we've now invoked to show masses if they are in the project, which at this point they are not. So we have to look at what kind of mass types we have. There's actually three. You have mass families from the Imperial Library, which are primitives that you can bring in. You've also got in place masses which is located right here. An in-place mass is something that you go ahead and draw, and the mass then stays within your project. You can also do a conceptual family mass, which is right out of the family editor. In that case, you draw it there, and then you download it into your project. We're going to use the mass families from the Imperial Library to see what happens. So we're going to come up here to Place Mass. And when you do that, you'll get this message that says there's no mass families loaded. So we're going to hit yes. What that will do is bring up the Imperial Library. We're going to go down and find a folder for masses and click in there. When you do that, you'll notice that there's a number of primitives that are available to you. As you go through the list here, you can find various shapes that you can select and bring into your project. In our case, we're going to pick up the barrel vault. I'm going to hold down the control key and pick up box and also cylinder. And I'm going to go ahead and hit open. Now by doing that, what will happen is, is it's gone ahead and downloaded all three. If you come over to the property selector and click on that, you'll see here that the three shapes have been brought in. The other thing is when you look up at the ribbon, there is two icons. One's called place on face. The other one is called place on work plane. By default, the work plane is selected. So we're going to go ahead and actually put one in. I'm going to come in and zoom in on the floor plan. And if you notice, I've got the box attached to my crosshair. And I'm going to go ahead and just click. After I click, I also have the ability of adding in another box if I need to do that, which at this point I don't. So I'm going to just hit modify. And I'm going to click over here to the 3D view and kind of zoom in on it. And you'll see that the box is fairly transparent. You can see through it, which is what mass elements kind of do. In order to fit this into the shape that we want, I'm going to come over here again to the plan and click on this mass element. And you're going to notice that there's some shape elements here. So I'm going to take these handles and I'm going to basically pull. This is kind of rough. I can move them to fit what I have with the symbol that we're on top of. But if you don't have that, this is a fairly rough way of creating a shape. If I come over here to the 3D view, I don't have the ability of actually influencing the size in 3D view. It only works in floor plan mode. The other mode that you can do is you can change height. So if you came over to the project browser and let's say looked at south, You'll notice here that in this case, I have another shape handle that allows me to go ahead and pull it up by shape height right here. So I can go ahead and do it that way as well. 
Let's bring in one more because you can draw with a little bit more precision other than with the shape handles. So I'm going to come in and kind of pull over to where we have this circle and go back to place mass. We're going to pick the cylinder. And in this case, what I'm going to do is just drop it in the center and then hit modify. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the cylinder again. Only in this case, I'm going to properties. I'm going to come down and look at the category called dimensions. Because with a little bit of precision, I can come in here and decide a new radius. So let's say I want to make it 32 feet 6 inches. And then I have to just hit apply. And it will then go ahead and fill up that area. And if you notice here, there is the new shape that's set up. In order to work with mass elements, you have to, first of all, be able to show masses. This kind of works as a button that turns on and off, as you see here. The other thing that you need to consider is what kind of mass type that you want. Typically, the ones that you probably want to get started off with first are the ones from the Imperial Library, and there's also in-place mass as well.